handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. How is it going, everyone? Arctic Knight here, and we're back with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Last episode, we got to go into the Room of Requirements, and we got to buy a broom. Now, we have quite a few side missions to do in Hogsmeade, so I figured that's what we'll do this episode. So, let's see, what do we have? We're right next to one, so I guess we can start there. I mean, one of them's getting a broom. Yep, literally, we're right next to getting the broom. Just have to wait until morning. Where's the entrance to the store? Oh, nope, we don't have to wait until morning. Oh, new face! Wonderful! Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Look, I'm happy to have any type of uh, broom. Yeah, what was what were the trade routes being disrupted? You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Oh, yes. I have... A need for one. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? So we have the Ember Dash Broom, the perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. Hogwarts House Broom. So this one will have my house on it. I mean, they all cost the same. That item is of the highest quality. I like the look of that. That item is of the highest quality. Nice doing business with you. Whoops, did not mean to sell that. I don't care about that. We're keeping the top hat. I don't care if these are better. Lots of money. That item is of the highest quality. Ooh. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Yeah, we'll take that one. I like the little flames on the end. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement. Oh, Go on. Maybe. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Yeah. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time... Imelda Rays? 
Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Yes. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one wow, way to find out who's the better flyer. Bitch. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Oh, I hope we can win. I want to wipe that smug look off her face. Did it. Um. Oh, that's right. Brilliant. Success. <laughs> this is rather fun. All right, we did it. I'm sorry if that was a little laggy on uh, the video's end. Uh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Uh, fine. Don't be a sore you loser. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Mm-hmm, sure. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Mm-hmm. Sure. Right, let's go back to Weeks, then. What are you up to now? Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope? 
Uh, I was able to set a record on my broom. Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. Can't wait to hear more. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Oh, thank you. All right. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. All right. Who's next out here? What do we have? It's going into a complete circle. No, oh, no, no, maybe not. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, Follow yes, the butterflies. If you wouldn't mind. Look at the butterflies. But very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind! Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringe of the We'll help out Miss Clementine. I was gonna think it was Clementine, but what is that noise? <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this way. Miss Willis might get an answer about these butterflies. Protego! Incendio!
What do we got here? Follow the butterflies. Where did they go? Get a little treasure, okay. Yeah, so this is just a, a few simple quests to do. I'll say it again. Please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. I do. Hello, Miss Willardsey. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. You should. Alright, there's one more quest in Hogsmeade to do. Yeah, let's wait until daytime, because I really want it to be bright and sunny outside. A little cloudy today, but that's fine. Kitty! Yaw, oh, look at that beautiful kitty. Look at the beautiful pattern on its fur. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Okay, what well, can I do for you something. today? I hope to him. see you again. Farewell for I now. I don't really know what potions yet. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Of course. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility contact. potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Okay, so she's quite far away. Near by now. Madam Luang? I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your bro them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Damn. 
Why did you buy them, then? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll oh, do it. is he really I a should think so. businessman who just doesn't do it? It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Yeah, yeah, tell me more about customers. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Yeah, she doesn't really have much, but I guess this is the spot. Beach juice. And I got plenty of beam stones and that. A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Well, let's grab this while we're over here. Always been keen on Keenbridge. Hang on to your valuables. You know what, let's just, let's just fly the rest of the way there. This is going to be a, sh a little bit of a shorter video anyways. Come now, don't be thin. I wish my mother was... I, I gotta show my mother this game. She, she loves Harry Potter, she loves Hogwarts, all that stuff. For a while, whenever, when we still had a table, she would always have like, at, between Star Wars, Indiana Jones, or Harry Potter would almost always be on. I would say I'd let her try to play some games, but she's to fly around, but she can't really handle computer screens all that much. But I know she would definitely be loving this game.
Now it'd be cool if we could do some like combat in the air. Maybe I should buy those spells. Oh, the recipes. Well, not like you were saying anything, so yeah, I, I, I can't hear. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. No problem. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Alright, so what quests do we have left of that? I am trying to, I don't I don't think I'm gonna get everything done. The gobstones, we'll do that eventually. <laughs> Acquire use of focus potion, acquire maxima and endurance potions, and use them simultaneously. We'll do this one next then. Next time, worry about this later, and then maybe after this one, we'll do the gobstones. Yeah, 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 yeah. everything that all of our special gear at. No, anyways. We'll call it a day here. Thank you all. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day.